Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement and uh, in this video we will be learning that uh, how to do visualizations and reporting in the Power BI and I will uh, tell you the five different scenarios to perform the visualization and reporting in the Power BI. So let's get start. Uh, the, the very first uh, visualizations and reporting we will be creating is the cross tabular report. So let's just insert a text box and let me name this as cross tabular report as you can see that you can uh, use this uh, group of the font to maximize the size or change the font and the orientation as well so let me just in increase the size of this font yes should be in center and i can drag this heading into the middle so we will be creating the cross tabular report for doing that we will be uh, using some of the measures and the fields uh, in in the field area so let's get start in in the report view which is the white screen you can see that is the canvas i will drag the total sales uh, from the sales table so from the sales table i will drag the total sales okay just drag and drop and uh, this will create a chart by default right so now the next thing is that uh, i will drag the month name um, and the year field from the date table so we have a date table here i will just drag this month field and uh, next thing is that the year to this chart so now uh, it's look a bit very complex uh, we just need to create the cross tabular report for doing that i will change this visualization into the matrix visualization and for doing that we have a matrix icon here okay um, let me just find out this matrix uh, okay here it is right so now we got the uh, matrix style of this data where we have the months and year wise uh, sales uh, to increase the for to increase the field size we, we have to go to this uh, format area and in the values we need to increase the font size so let's say i will do it till 16 so that it can should it should be visible now the numbers are the, the numbers font size have been increased but not the title so we need to increase the size of the titles as well so going to the again format area and uh, it is called field formatting or you can see um, there is a called column headers so expand this column headers increase the size of the column headers uh, similarly you will get the raw headers as well for the months we will increase the size so that it should be visible right uh, the next step that uh, now we got the sales month wise and year wise we will add the units as well so repeating the same steps as we did for the sales so we will be having uh, total units from the sales uh, total units then from the date table i will drag the month name and the year field and uh, transform this uh, visualization or the object into the matrix style so now you can see that we got the units and the sales on on the same page uh, just need to increase the again the values or you can also uh, format use the format painter i will just click on on this table click on format table and then click on this this second table so quickly it will convert just like in excel we do the format painters right so this is the first uh, reporting uh, aspect in the power bi we can create uh, the matrix style report to fetch the uh, you can say the numbers uh, in, in our data the second uh, visualization and reporting aspect we can do in the power bi is parts to the whole report so for that again i will insert one uh, text box and write writing the heading parts to whole report increasing the font size again and uh, dragging it to the center 
All right. So now to create the parts to the whole report, uh, what we can do best in the Power BI is uh, so we will go one by one, uh, dragging the total sales from the sales. For example, total sales, right? We have the total sales here. Then uh, uh, dragging the category and segment uh, fields from the products table. So from the products table, we will be dragging the category and then the product right and then uh, we will be changing this uh, chart into the hundred percent stack chart so we have this hundred percent stack uh, i think bar chart we need a stack bar chart okay so this is how we make this uh, now that ensuring that the category is shown on the axis uh, so the category should be shown shown in the axis and uh, the segment is shown um, okay so we have not the product but the segment in the legend okay so we have the segment in the legend right and uh, now to have the data labels as well because we need to identify that which volume consists which percentage so uh, to have the data labels we can go to the format area and uh, we will turn on the data labels right we just need to turn on this data label so let me use the magnifier yeah, right so we need to just for for having the data labels format and then click on on button to get the data labels right so moving forward uh, next is again uh, we will drag the total sales so where is the total sales in the sales we have the total sales right and then from the manufacturer's table um, yes from the manufacturer's table we will add the manufacturer right and uh, we will have the tree map visualization here now so that you know, we need to identify where is the tree map visualization and here it is click on tree map visualization and put it accordingly to your canvas so let me just as that right i've put the tree map visualization right so next uh, dragging the month name uh, from the uh, from the date table so from the date table we'll drag the month names right and uh, putting them into the slicer so we'll click on slicer to change the visualization now it will work as a filter context uh, when we click on any month as you can see that the the tree map and the chart is is changing right if you want uh, for example if you want the to select all of these months we need to add a, a feature that is called select all for doing that what we will do we will go to the format tab and uh, in the selection controls uh, click on uh, the select all option that is by default it's off when we click on on now we can select all months at once right and uh, next thing uh, we want to do is uh, uh, from the date table we need to drag the year right and in uh, that year i think we need to from the date table yes from the date table and from that's the slicer right and we made it as a slicer and you can modify the uh, the slicer as well by clicking on this small button if you can see on my screen this is small drop down button that how you want to see this uh, slicer as a drop down menu as a list or or between or greater than equals to right right so this is how we have created the parts to the whole report the next uh, report uh, or the visualization we will be creating as the uh, relationship report so again i will insert a, a text box relationship report and increasing the font size so the relationship report let's create a view of the relationship report as um, so we will create a chart uh, based on the scattered chart visualization so scattered chart visualization is here right and uh, i can just resize this 
object so dragging the total sales and total units from the sales so we have the total sales we have the total units right and then uh, from the from the different table from the products table uh, we will be dragging category and the segment category and the segment yes and uh, we will drag the ytd sales from the sales table so ytd sales from the sales table right so after doing all these steps uh, we will add one more field which is the year from the date table from year so now when i play this button when I click on this button, you can see that it's giving us, us the animation and how this year by year, year progress has. So as you can see, this uh, object is it's showing us the animation and uh, relationship between the between the categories of uh, units and sales year by year. And we can visualize the impact of the business. So this is one of the aspect of the relationship report we can create in Power BI. The next is uh, we will be having one more report, which is the trend report. So let's say how we can analyze the trend of our data based on our data. So let me just move center this text box. So for creating a trend, trend report, um, uh, we will be having some more charts. So from the date, we will be dragging the year right and uh, dragging the total sales and total units from the sales so total units and total sales total sales total units so now we have one chart here and uh, we will be modifying this chart to the line and stack column chart so we have here the line and stack column chart and uh, um, here we will change the total units to the line values we will drag this and we will get this trending uh, kind of a chart here on on our canvas right so this is how you can create a chart let me create one uh, one waterfall chart for for you as well so for the, for the waterfall chart we have this chart directly in the visualization when i click on this this object is created but it's blank we will fill this with different fields and uh, uh, from the table sales variance we have us from sales sales variance we will drag this into the waterfall chart and then here from the date table here from the date table okay and um, yeah, yeah this is this is how we can created the waterfall chart and you can just sort this ascending or descending or based on the sales of the year uh, you can do right For example year wise but year wise that will be um, let me do the ascending okay here it is so from 2000 till 2015 this this picture depicts this uh, business position right so now this is correct waterfall chart uh, then last but not the least um, we will be creating the rank report that uh, how we can visualize the rank rank reports in power bi so increasing the font size and getting into the center so let me just create a quickly rank report uh, dragging the total sales from the sales okay we have the total sales from the sales right then we have the product from the products table we'll drag that all right and drop here so now uh, we will be modifying this visualization into the bar chart all right this is how it looks like right and uh, ensuring that all these are the total sales yes these are the total sales and uh, then uh, we will be adding one slicer all right and that slicer would be year from the date table converting them into the slicer and as a list so we have a slicer here right and uh, we can just do the um, 
ordering into the ascending or descending based on the product or the sales right so this is how we can identify the ranking of uh, how many top three products have been sold uh, by the number of customers on the year wise right if i click on 2015 i can just see that what was the progress of top three or top five products in 2005 or in 2000 or or in overall report by just uh, click on on the select all button right so we have quickly in this video we have quickly uh, understand the five quick tips on the visualizations and reporting in the power bi the first one was the cross tabular report uh, the second one was the part to the whole report relationship report then the trending reports in which we have the waterfall and last the rank report thank you